Welcome. Today we are going to show you a new age in battery technology. What we have here is a Ryobi Mulchinator cordless. And we have a voltmeter attached to it. William, turn on the voltmeter. This will show you that we have 23.1 volts on this. We're going to show you that there's nothing rigged about this. There's a clock here showing the time. That there's Everything's put in place. Today is Sunday, September 26th. Excuse me, Sunday, September 28th. We lift up the machine so they can see that there's blades underneath here. Okay, we have blades underneath here. So, and the blades will spin. And they're connected. Okay. William, what do you have in your hand? Uh, it's the uh, key or the fusible link that can allows. Can you turn it so that they can sure. show that there's there's no kind of battery or juice or connector? And where does that key go? It uh, goes into this slot, which allows the battery-operated lawnmower to actually work. Okay. So, the concept here is that a standard battery for this particular Ryobi model would last approximately how long? Uh, under uh, use between 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Now then, we are going to set this up, turn it on, we will show you that the blade is rotating, and then we're just going to let this matter time out, and you can see how long this battery lasts under the new technology that we've got in place. Go ahead and start it up. You can hear the fan blowing. Now we're going to lift the thing up just so you can see the blades are blowing. been about an hour. We're going to unlock the videotape here. Show you the clock. you watch a little bit longer. Okay, we're back. It's been about another hour. Normal technology basically says that this lawnmower should have been shut off approximately an hour ago, but it's still going strong. Still nothing connected to it. Go around and look. Nothing connected to it. All right, William, just so that they won't think that there's anything underneath the floor, back it up a little bit. We'll show you there's nothing underneath the floor. See how it's blowing the leaves around? You can see the blade still moving because it's blowing leaves around, but we'll show you the blade. Still spinning. And we had 19.8 volts just starting the last hour and we still have 19.5 so we're at the two hour phase
Let's see how much longer it'll last. We're literally double the battery life. Three and a half hours. Same machine, still not connected to anything. The voltage is now down to 16.1, and as you saw, it just went down to 16. So we've had a little bit of a decline in voltage, roughly in the uh, beyond the third hour. So. We're more than three and a half times what the uh, length of the recommendation by the manufacturer of what a battery should last. So we'll see if we can make it to four hours. Still spinning. But I think you're getting an idea about the technology and what it could potentially do on larger scale items and small scale items. But for toys, for lanterns, and applications such as electric cars. Okay, here we are. We're um, pretty much into our four, fourth hour. And it is still running. Now, obviously, you can tell, again, that the sound volume has gone down. But it has been running for approximately four hours. The voltage that we have left is 9.3, 9.4 volts. So we still aren't totally out of power. We still have roughly uh, half of the voltage that we originally started with. Uh, so this is the technology that we're talking about. This is four times the amount of normal running time that would be on this particular model. Blade is still spinning. Again, nothing's connected. So, gentlemen, Ladies, if that applies, if you're interested in knowing what this is all about, if you're interested in knowing more about this type of technology, give us a call. We'll be glad to talk to you about it. And we thank you for sitting through a four-hour tape.